sound speeds. And when you're mixing, you want to maintain maximum control over your mix, which most likely means you're going to be mixing relatively flat frequency response wise. More and more frequently, people are watching television shows and movies on their cell phones, which is not the best for listening to your mix. As a matter of fact, it's almost insulting. Low end rumble that shakes the entire movie theater and high pitched gunshots that make you cover your ears because it makes you feel like you're there. That's all lost on a cell phone. So it's almost like, what's the point, right? We are professional sound people and we will make sure that mix sounds as good as possible for the people that do care about the sound enough to watch it on a decent system. Mixing with a relatively flat frequency response is the best way to make sure that people watching on their cell phones and people watching on a big system at their house are going to get the very best listening experience out of your production. Most professionals mix with monitor speakers and monitor speakers as a general rule are relatively flat. However, depending on where you place those speakers, the sound can be very different. If you place a speaker on the floor, on a table or against a wall, that hard surface will actually work with your speaker to produce more bass, and that can give you an artificial low end. If your speakers are too far away from your ears, the mids and highs are going to make it to your ears just fine, but the low end frequencies are going to be dissipated a bit in the air, and you're going to lose some of them. So if you want to make sure that your ears are hearing a flat frequency response, what can you do? Enter Sonarworks calibration software. Sonarworks uses a calibration microphone and analyzes your system to flatten out the frequency response. You can buy certain components of the Sonarworks system a la carte. However, I strongly recommend you getting all four components of the system for a complete experience. Here's why. One, it comes with a measurement and speaker calibration tool. Two, it comes with plugins for your digital audio workstation. Three, it comes with a system wide software that allows you to shape and manipulate the sound. And four, it comes with a calibration microphone that is specifically tuned by Sonarworks before they send it out to make sure that it is exactly flat. The manufacturing process of a microphone is not a perfect thing. So two microphones that should sound completely identical may deviate ever so slightly, just a fraction. Now what Sonarworks does before they send out a calibration microphone is they plug it up to their system and they allow themselves to build a calibration profile so that they know exactly how this microphone is going to sound. They save it based on the serial number of the microphone. So when you install your software, you can download the profile of this microphone simply by putting in the serial number and it will make sure that you are calibrating your system with a completely flat frequency response microphone. Every time you go to measure and calibrate your speakers, Sonarworks asks you certain questions to ensure that you are going to properly measure your system. Once you tell the Sonarworks measurement software the answer to certain key questions like inputs and outputs, it will walk you through a 24 step procedure to ensure that the speakers are going to be talking to this microphone correctly. You could have the microphone here and it plays a tone. Then it may want you to move it in closer and listen to it again. That is going to spatially tell it how your room sounds. You also tell the software exactly where you sit and listen from. So the microphone itself will build a profile to ensure that you are listening to a flattened frequency response from that exact spot. To clarify, between the speaker frequency response and the room acoustics themselves, the sonar work system will take it all into consideration and build you a flattened out frequency response for you to listen to from your listening spot. It's really cool how your computer works with the Sonarworks system-wide for software. You can either listen to a flattened out frequency response to your speakers, or you can hit bypass and hear your speakers the way they are intended to be heard. Another cool feature in the software is that you can choose the headphones you own from a list within the software. And you can, at the press of one button, flatten out the frequency response for your headphones to ensure that you're mixing flat. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can press the bypass button, and that way you have your headphones back to the way that the engineers who designed them intended you to hear with them. Another cool thing is you can see the frequency response of your left speaker and your right speaker. And by dropping down a list, you can see the inverse filter that the Sonarworks software is creating to flatten out your frequency response. You also have things like phase and your limits that you can also look at if you're interested. If you don't want to mix completely flat, the Sonarworks software does allow you to either customize or use a predefined profile to make sure that you really find the kind of sound that you want out of your system. The software even allows you to go in and simulate popular monitor speakers. So that way, if you want to see what your mix sounds like on a different system, you can. You can choose to make your headphones sound like other headphones as well. 
If you click the advance button, you can go in and play with the latency of the system. But SonarWorks System Wide 4 software is actually zero latency, so there is absolutely no delay by default. You also have the option of dialing in on your maximum high and low frequencies so that you can really make the system work for you the way you want to hear it. The SonarWorks System Wide 4 software is designed to be very user friendly, and it is. It's very powerful as well, and if you make the investment, I strongly recommend getting the entire system, including the calibration microphone. Full disclosure, SonarWorks did send me the calibration software and the microphone at no charge. That way I could produce this sonic microphone testing series for you. Here's my honest thought about the system. It is very easy to use, it's very easy to set up, it's very easy to calibrate and play with, but what it does not do is allow me to create a sound booth and put a microphone inside of it to sonically test. I wish that I didn't have to have two speakers set up for my sonic testing series. I wish I could just have one speaker calibrated with the microphone, but that's not an option. The ideal listening spot is marked by a white X. However, the software itself requires you to take the microphone farther away and closer than your listening spot, in addition to left and right to really dial in on how it should properly be calibrated. Unfortunately, though, in my case, it took, it, it took the microphone outside of the booth area, so I was not able to actually keep it contained within the booth, which does affect the sound. So what I'm going to have to do on the acoustic sonic testing series is I'm going to have to use an 11 band equalizer and really dial in the frequency response just perfectly. Before I set up my sonic testing booth, I did actually use the software and calibrate my system the way it's intended. And surprisingly, I got a very flat frequency response above about 90 hertz. Now below 90 hertz, and we're practically in roll off territory there at 80 hertz, you know, so I wasn't that concerned with it. It was ever so slightly fluctuating up until about the 100 hertz mark, but who's going to really care about that? It went completely flat all the way up to 20k. Now, if you're listening at 20k, chances are you're like related to a bat or something, so that's not really that big of a concern. And really, it's a solid system the way it worked, and I was actually very impressed. Who is this software ideal for? Well, if you do any kind of mixes in your studio, you should consider getting this software, Be not just because it flattens out the frequency response, because in all honesty, you could use a 31-band graphic equalizer and do that for yourself, but the software allows you to manipulate the sound and actually simulate other speakers, and if you use your headphones, you can actually make your headphones sound like your speakers, which is a really cool feature as well. As far as my needs on this channel are concerned, the Sonarworks system is going to be a key player in the sonic testing series that I'm doing on this channel. It's going to allow me to zero out the frequency response of my speakers so that way whenever I put a microphone on the sweet spot, I am going to be listening as if there was a person speaking right there in front of the mic. The Sonarworks System Wide 4 software is extremely versatile. As a matter of fact, you can tailor it to your exact needs. So for me, I give it two big thumbs up here at Sound Speeds, and I strongly recommend you checking it out at sonarworks.com link down in the description. In the meantime, thanks for tuning into this episode of Sound Speeds and tune into the future for more product reviews and sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.